Come over here, like that. You, you can dive into this. Tell us what you think. A little bit of influences okay. from all, well, a right. little bit of France, a little bit of Italy. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Spain, Basque, region, Italy, Spain. Basque, uh, Basque region, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, a little bit of Le Land also, yeah. and uh, but it's very light as well. I tasted this earlier. It's yeah, light. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, really. <laughs> it's gonna dig in. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, pretty good. it's really a signature, mm. and when we take uh, it out from the menu, oh my god! You see, <laughs> I told you it's that like about a butter chicken. It's you see? Like, yeah, it's yeah. like your chicken. You know? <laughs> exactly. Right. There is a revolution when you take it off. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Some let's go back. Like that. Let's go back to Malden and Essex to see what I want. It's but Ollie Smith has chosen to go with Helene's. Antonio and Gennaro will be back with more great dishes next week. Right, it's time to answer some of your. Uh, uh, sorry, time to find out whether Louise will be facing food heaven the wrong part of the show. Facing food heaven or food hell? I've not been doing it for very long. You know, I'm new to this game. Um, uh, food heaven would be lamb shanks, of course, uh, braised for about four hours uh, with a nice little herb tabale, or you've got mussels and sweet corn, which you hate, into a soup. Um, it was kind of their decision, really, because it was 2-1 with our callers. <laughs> they also like lamb as well, so that's what you're getting. So great. lose the mussel one out of the way. Yeah, they both okay, love that. Yeah. So if you guys can do the tabbouleh for me, that would be sure. great. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to get on and start sealing off this lamb, first of all. So we've got the lamb shanks here. We get these sealing in the pan, like that. Just in one of these tagine pans. Get this out of the way. I notice how you're standing back for this one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to chop up the uh, onions and some garlic. So the guys over here are going to get on and do the tabbouleh, which is basically just bulgur wheat, which is this, which is a crack wheat. And all we do is we bring the stock to the boil, throw that in, and then switch it off and leave it. And it absorbs up, and you end up with what you've got here. All right? Magic. You can just leave it overnight if you wanted to, if you've got time. But uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to leave that to, uh, to there. And then you've got the shallots, sorry, the onions, which we're going to dice up. I've got a range of spices from rasa hanu, we've got some cinnamon, ginger, a uh, little bit of turmeric, uh, cumin powder as well. Uh, all get thrown in with some harissa, which is this paste, together with some tomato puree. So all the basically just gets chucked in one big pan, really, as well. So do you get time to cook much at home or not? Are you no. I'm not a great person. I, I love that look. Everybody that comes on just gives me that look. No, possibly not. I, did, I learned to cook something the other week. Uh, uh, lasagna. I was taught by a nice woman who came in and told me how to hold a knife and everything. Right. Oh, this is, yeah, that's all right. This is your next dish, you see? Lamb shanks. Well. Like but these things, are, well, they used to be able to give them away, these. Yeah, uh, a few years Way ago. back when I was training years, years ago, but now, of course, there are a couple of quid, these lamb shanks, but they're a great piece of meat to be able to do this with because all you do with this is you just take the entire lot and then throw this all in. Now, some people will be just tuning into this right now as well, but, you know, you're uh, appearing in several things at the moment. you just finished the theatre in Glasgow, hopefully bringing that down to, the, to London as well. But television, people will know you from so many different things. I didn't know she did 90-odd episodes of Casualty as well. I know, you? when I was about seven. Yeah? Yeah. 90 and was, uh, yeah. What was that getting like? into scrapes. It was... Uh, Do you treat that as a learning curve for TV? Uh, Is that yeah, I mean, I had six days a week for two and a half years, so... I, I just got a bit bored and started doing other jobs on set after a bit. Right. The, uh, interfering, holding the boom and... <laughs> so when did you get the phone call for, for Sherlock, then, which a lot of people will know you for? When, when did that happen? Oh, Lord. I think we've been doing it... I'm going to get this wrong. We've been doing it about four, five years now. Right. Because we did a pilot that we shot an entire... Uh, a pilot before, and then remade it as the first episode. Yeah. But with 30 extra minutes. Because, different direction. you know, people know you from that as well, but it's, it's coming back on the screens. Uh, I'm sure it's coming back on the screens as well, but your Ripper Street is what you're what you're doing at the moment. Yes. Third series of Ripper Street. People see it slightly differently, though, this time. You, you can access it online. Okay. Yeah, you certainly can. Uh, from November the 14th, you can watch it on your computer. This is through Amazon. Amazon Prime Instant Video, so, no and less. Then it, and then it's coming on to the BBC, what, is that after, in the New Year? In well? spring, yeah. Right. I think they're releasing, like, an episode a week uh, until Boxing Day, if that's the grand finale. That's the plan? Yeah. Right, we're just going to finish this off. Well, you start, you basically all the spices in. You see what I've been doing. What's that? This is honey going in there. Oh, we've got wow. saffron. We've got some olives in there as well. Uh, in we go with the almonds. You just chuck the whole lot in. Obviously, you need a little bit of fruit as well, that's the key to this, so some sultanas yep. and some apricots, which is wonderful. You start to bring it all together and then throw in some tomatoes. These are just tin tomatoes. Okay. Throw the whole lot in. Add the stock. Throw a lot of that in there. Bring it to the boil, so it's starting to look 
something similar now, and then pop the lamb shanks back in. Turn it down. Now you can cook it on the stove. One of these tagines over here. Why does it have to have a pointy bit? That's the tagine pot. I know, but why? You just have to go to the steam. Steam creates a steam. Steam. Yeah, but you know, a pot. Pot with a lid. <laughs> it's a point. A pot with a lid. It's pointy. Yeah. I don't have a pointy one. Well, a point I with a lid. Mind. And then all we do is we bring this out. Now you need to cook this, particularly with the lamb shanks. Oh. And if you've got diced lamb, it'll take a, about two hours. Wow. With lamb shanks, it's going to take about four hours. So drop the oven, bring it to the boil, drop the oven down to about 300 Fahrenheit. It's about 150 degrees centigrade, something like that. And then what we're going to do is just lift this off. Oh, and you end up with these lamb shanks. Uh, and then coriander, right at the last minute. Oh, it smells amazing. Here we go. Like that, a bit of salt. Now what you can serve these with is salted lemon. So you just take the lemons, I've just basically just picked these with a fork, throw the salt in, water and cook these for about an hour, take them off, then we got them in the back, I believe. And then the what we can do is grab some of this. So they cool down in there as well. It's tasty. It smells, it smells pretty good that, doesn't it? Yep. And then you can just bring this across. And then Put chop this up. Pepper. So these are the salted yeah, lemons that <laughs> sometimes you either add to it or you can just serve it on the side. Is that a Moroccan thing? It's a Moroccan lemon. thing, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready I, ready I wanted to add some red pepper, but I don't know where well, you put it. Ooh. You hide it. <laughs> <laughs> you hide it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been taken away. You, 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 you became addict and uh, I know, yeah. <laughs> you took it for home, huh? <laughs> and then... Wow. And look, you just put this on here. Wow. And then you just pop this. All Every time I go to a restaurant and if the lamb chank's on the menu, I'm with my friends and I spend make the pretense of reading the menu and then, and then say, you always choose this one. Lamb shank, please. And we'll try that. They laugh. So there you, wow. there you go, lamb shank with a nice, nice little herb. Look at that. Look at like pomegranate seeds. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good, huh? Well, you get started to that. I need to put my face in it. Tell us what you think. Helen. Now to go with this, uh, Ollie's chosen another Let's... cracking wine as well. Some great oh, ones today. A Jura Red Sainsbury's 2012, priced at £8.25 to go with it as well. Just snip it. That's the bone. You've got to dive in. You've got about yeah. 10 seconds quick, to eat quick. it. <laughs> yeah, just, oh, no. just wreck it. <laughs> It'll be a bit hot, anything. but you know, you've got <laughs> a bottle of wine to go with it. But that's the honey. You need the soft fruit as well to go in there, but the almonds just soften up. It's just. Come on. It's a great mm. dish, that, as well. Mm. And get some lamb at the moment. I mentioned it last week on the show. It really is in season at the moment. A great price as well. That's all for today on Saturday Kitchen Live. Thanks to Vivek Sin, Helene Darroze, who's coming back to do the omelettes next week, I think. Uh, and Louise Brearley. Cheers to Ollie Smith for the brilliant wine trust today. Well done, boss. And remember, all of today's recipes are on our website, including that one. Uh, go to bbc.co.uk forward, uh, forward slash Saturday Kitchen. Now, we'll be back at the same time at 10 o'clock next week. Best bites tomorrow, remember, slightly later, 10.20 over on BBC Two. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to put your clocks forward tonight. Have a great weekend. Bye. Back, I mean. Back, back, back.